Okay, here we're going to look at uh, something called the menstrual cycle. So the menstrual cycle uh, looks like this. It kind of looks like a clock, and this diagram is showing uh, the thickness of the uterine wall. So there's a lot of things to try to understand here about the period, the menstrual cycle, what the point of the menstrual cycle is, why the wall is shed, why there's bleeding involved, what happens on particular days, and also, it has information for a man and a woman, a husband and a wife who are trying to have a child, and what would be the ideal time uh, to try and introduce the eggs to the sperm, basically. So there's a little link here. I think uh, I'll post this. Maybe I can put it in the video. But this is a very good animation to check out. Maybe we'll include this in the video or in an additional video. I'll click to this in a second to see if we can do that. But here we go. Menstrual cycle. The first five days, let's try to outline this. The first five days. I'm going to try to keep these videos to five minutes. The first five days are when the bleeding actually occurs. So we say that's the beginning of a period. It could be between three and seven days, but average is five days. Average is five days. Okay. So that's when the uterine wall starts to shed. And you can see this is showing the relative thickness of the wall. Over here, it's pretty thick, right? And over here, it gets thin as it gets broken down. And that's when the bleeding or the period actually happens. Now, after the bleeding uh, stops, after the five days, the uterine wall begins to start to thicken. Again, you can see this counting days, day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, something really important happens here around day 14. This is also average. Around day 14, the ovum, which is the egg cell, actually gets released around this time. So if a, if a man and woman are trying to have a baby, this is the ideal time to try to introduce sperm cells to the egg cell, actually. And there's a fancy name for egg being released. It's called ovulation. This is the uterus lining, also called the uterine lining, uterine lining. And it's getting thicker um, as time goes on. And here is, this is why the cycle is, it's a monthly cycle, 28 days. Also, that's an average uh, length of the cycle. But if the egg is not fertilized, if the egg is not fertilized, then this lining breaks down, okay, breaks down. So what's the point of building up this lining? Well, the body, the female body is preparing from when puberty begins, the female body is preparing the uterine wall just in case an egg gets fertilized. If the egg gets fertilized, well, this wall needs to be thick so that the fertilized egg can actually implant. Okay, it can actually implant. That means it kind, of, it kind of sets down, finds a home, and then a lot of really complicated things start to happen. Then you start growing a, a placenta, the baby starts... The, it's called an embryo at this point. The, the embryo starts hooking up, creating blood vessels, basically, to in order to get nutrients from the mother and to start releasing wastes uh, to the mother, so the mother can get rid of the waste. So it's important that we that this uterine lining stays thick. But if the egg is not fertilized, then it gets broken down. It gets broken down. It seems like a big waste of energy. It's almost like building. You're building an entire school. And if students don't come to the school, then you tear the entire school down again. And then you build it again, waiting for students to show up. It seems like a big waste, but it turns out, as wasteful as it seems to shed this uterine lining every time, um, it actually is better for the, the woman's body to not have this, because it takes a lot of nutrients and energy in order to build this entire thing up and maintain it. So if a woman is not pregnant, if she's not pregnant, then it's better off for her to break down the wall and start building it up again. That seems to be a better use of her energy. Of course, if the egg becomes fertilized and actually implants here, then guess what? The wall, you can predict, is not going to break down and it's going to stay up. So if a woman becomes pregnant, that's one of the first signs that she's pregnant, is that she misses her period and the menstrual cycle uh, stops. A lot of other things happen there, but basically the wall is going to stay thick. That's, those are the basics of the menstrual cycle. Uh, here's some other notes you can check out for this here at the side. 
uh, the point of the menstrual cycle to regulate the release of the ovum each month and prepare the body for pregnancy. And the uh, hormones produced by the brain are there to help uh, control the cycle. Like I said before, down here, you can see day 14 is the ideal time to try to get pregnant because that is when the egg is usually going to be released. Okay. Let's see if we can take a look at this animation. You could also click, go to the link directly, but uh, let's see if we can see it here. Okay. Look like a little late. Okay, maybe this is not working. My computer is going to crash. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's stop right there. Thank you very much. All right. Post your questions underneath, please. Thank you.